since the beginning of colonialism in the Americas, Native peoples have been removed or enslaved in or eliminated from their lands in order to make way for settlers. And um, there has one of the ways that colonizers have justified their claims to Native lands is to portray them as empty um, or that the peoples who used the land before present day Native Americans were actually members of a different group coming from somewhere else. And we still see this echoed today, unfortunately, in the, you know, some of the popular media that one sees on various cable history programs and uh, and also, in, uh, unfortunately, um, it's quite common in white supremacist sites as well where they'll talk about this. Anyway, um, historical marginalization of indigenous peoples conti- it goes side by side with the study of archaeology and unfortunately my own discipline of, of genetics as well. I, you know, I want to stress that not every scientist has done this, but there have been the trend has been that indigenous people's ancestors have been um, disturbed and looted, uh, used to make museum collections. And um, their concerns about this have been uh, ignored. This has changed a lot in recent years. Um, there has been a major, major shift in the way that people in my discipline and in archaeology um, have approached this subject. And I think that we're working towards being um, much better, much more respectful, um, much more cognizant of indigenous people's concerns about these practices. But genetics is kind of another area in which um, my colleagues and I need to do better in doing this work. Because ancient DNA, the process of getting ancient DNA from an individual, from an ancestor, involves it's a destructive analysis. It's only a little bit, a very, very tiny, tiny little bit of bone or tooth that has to be used in the extraction process, but that may run counter and often does to a number of indigenous um, people's ideas about how the dead should be treated. And so taking into account their um, priorities and their wishes in this research process is absolutely crucial.